Slowly inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. While inhaling, feel the concentrate, and while exhaling, feel relaxed. Now. Relax, everyone. Now we'll start the prayer. Everyone, close your eyes. You can repeat after me. Oh, sound is not clear it's breaking om oh. hello she must have left because some network issue i think she'll join again very good very good yeah good and it's still well, breaking and your screen is freeze ऑडियो प्लीज 
Who is talking? Uh, yet not clear, ma'am. Okay, so the sound is breaking, ma'am. Sound is breaking, ma'am. Yes, मैम आप अपना ब्लूटूथ हटा दीजिए प्लीज ब्लूटूथ हटा दीजिए हो सकता है ब्लूटूथ की प्रॉब्लम हो इट्स नॉट एट ऑल क्लियर कभी नहीं होता है So twisting. What is? What do you mean by twist? Twist is a pose in where there is a rotation of your spine. It's called twist. Twist. Why we used to do the twist for increase the back muscle strength. Twist is a good for uh internal or especially digestive system. So let's and why key point? I'll tell you in the next slide why key point is important. key point is important for coach as well as judge as well as athlete why for the coach because through the key point the coach can teach the athlete how to gain the maximum marks okay because we need to work on the key points and in the cop you can see our twisting body is divided in two parts one is twisting body floor and one is twisting body balance so 25 asanas comes under twisting body floor and 25 asanas come under twisting body balance so in cop uh, i'll go to the next slide now so cop Twisting body floor. There is twenty five class number to be done. Page number one twenty one to one twenty five. It is properly explained that these five pages how they are divided in scoring category. Scoring category means like these five pages are divided into five categories. For example, category A, B, C, D, and E. Category A belongs to belongs to the low score, two point six, and category E belongs to one point zero. So the coach and the athlete needs to work accordingly for the competition, where the athlete can see which asanas are for him. For the lowest category, for the advanced level, he can go for the D category and E category. So now let's talk about 
See, in twisting body floor, we have 25 asana. And in twisting body balance, we have 25 asana. So, total is 50 asanas are there. And in this session, we can't talk 50 asanas in one hour. So, I have chosen five asanas from each category. So, we go accordingly one by one. First, you can see in the screen, it's Ard Matsendra Asana. And this asan belongs to TBF. TBF is a short form of twisting body floor. This is a short form of twisting body floor. So this asan belongs to TBF A1 mark 0.6. So in COP, you can see we have five asanas same. So, these five asanas belongs to 0 0.6. So let's go to the key judging point. So, key judging point, you can see when athlete is practicing or coach is, you know, preparing the student, he need to see when he is performing Ard Matsendra Asana. The body has to be in complete twist, right? So you can see one foot cross over the other thigh, knee under the armpit, one hand upon the should catch the cross toe, other hand should catch the straight leg, legs up behind, neck position. You can see the main point is both shoulders are in straight line and face facing backward. So these are the small key points where the athlete can perform beautifully through the key point. So as a coach, we need to teach a student according to the key point. Let's go to the next slide. Next answer is Paripitra Jamshe Shasan. In this asan, you can see this is proper a straight position where athlete should be in complete twist, right? So, one knee bend and other knee extend. Two of extension, two of extended leg dorsiflexion. So, here, what you do is dorsiflexion. First of all, I want to tell you, in our body, we have 10 movements. In kinesiology language, we have 10 movements. So, for example, why I want to explain dorsiflexion? Because this is one moment where uh, when you stretch your feet inside, I'll show you. When we stretch our feet inside, it's called dorsiflexion. When we stretch our feet outside, it's called plantar flexion. So this is a one moment where we can see the two muscles working together on one moment. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. The same way we have flexion, extension. So these are two movements. Again, the two muscles are working together. Same way we can say when the hand is coming inside, adduction. When the hand is going outside, adduction. So we should know the each moment when we are, you know, as of like nowadays, if the coach is also wanting to know the more about the movement, about the athlete, about the key points. So we should understand the key point thoroughly so that we can uh, take a good performance from our athlete. So in this position, you can see the head resting on the shin bone, elbow touching to the floor. Form grip on extended leg. Another. Sorry, ma'am, you are not visible. We can't see the movements you are doing. Sorry to say. I don't know Voice about others. Some problem. network issues there, she'll be back. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Some network issues there, she'll be back. Yeah. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Excuse me, I'm here. Hope you can hear me. Okay, so next, let's talk about the next category asset. This category is belongs to TBF. As you know, the TBF full form is TBF. 
it's mm-hmm. twisting body flow so right now we are talking about twisting body flow so this asan belongs to c category so we have five asan in category i have chosen one to explain you with the key point and this is padmasana asan pashupatan asan is made you can see the both leg straight one hand elbow touching please stop talking beach mein who is i'll do the mute okay so toe in dorsiflexion position you can see jo dono toes hai hamare dorsiflexion position mein hai face facing sideward between the both elbows okay so hope this position also clear let's go to the next position okay this is ramabhut asan and same you can see this belongs to d category d category means marks is 0.9 so we have five asan in this category so our five asan if the athlete is performing ramabhut asan he has to or she has to make make sure the key point should be perfect for example athlete should be split with proper leg straight opposite elbow touching shin bone both the hand holding to back leg knee extension face facing upward so when we go with the key points the athlete performance bahut acche se aata hai abhi ek main baat batana chahungi i want to share something in the last level competition in the district competition in the district competition please mute yourself kaun hai okay in the district level competition i want to share one incident with you where you know the student came for the competition and they are very much confused during the filling the code of point unka yeah. code like we yeah. gave a slip code to fill the asan code like for example if athlete is performing traditional asan he has to write his five or three are optional asan optional asan with the code so as a coach we should know how we should guide student to remember the code and how he can or she can choose the best out of the slips optional asan so we should know that athlete should know that this asan belongs to d category and i can be 0.9 if he he is a advanced level player we should always guide him for the d category and the e category if athlete is beginner always as a coach we should go with the a category and the category because child has to learn gradually we should not force the child go for the c category or d category or e category we have to see a students performance through confidence as a make starting may he wish you know say you should try the d category or the e category so in this asan you can see position now let's go to the next slide okay now we will be talking about tbf e1 tbf e1 is a asan which belongs to e category as you know e category belongs to 0.1 if my child is doing any i i have the i'll share the cop with you wait if you can i'll just wait so if my child is doing asan from cop where he is taking okay here is he is taking from e category i should know i can see okay let it be. okay i should know 
he should be thoroughly with the key point. I should train him accordingly. So, in this key category, we have five asanas. Okay. We have five asanas. So, out of five, if my student or my athlete is performing Matsinrasana, he should be go with the key point. Athlete should be in complete twist from the back room. So, we are talking about the back twist only. Okay. Basically, in twisting body yoga, so we are going to talk about the back twist. So, in this picture, you can see one foot at the back hip joint, other foot over the other thigh. So, you can see in the picture, very knee under the hand should catch the toe, and the hand should catch the spine, hold it. And you can see all the key points in the picture. So, when my athlete is performing this, as a coach, this is my responsibility to train her or train him for the better performance. Right? So, let's go to the next. Okay. Now, we are... Before this, I would like to show you one video. Okay, let's talk about first twisting body balance. So, twisting body balance. Same, I told you, 25 asanas in twisting body floor and 25 asanas in twisting body balance. So, total 50 asanas in this category. Right? So, we are going to see now twisting body balance, 25 asanas, but out of 25, I have present one. So each page, we have five asanas. So five pages, we have 25 asanas. So out of the first category, when the asana, you can see on the screen, this core point is EBB. It's twisting body balance, right? So in this position, this picture or you this you can say this pose belongs to 0 0.6 category so in this picture with the key point the activity should be proper complete twist as you know we are talking about the twist only right now so standing knee perpendicular to the ground other leg in extension you can see his leg proper extension okay now you can see his fit. I mean, in the second slide, I, I had a word about the plantar flexion and dorsiflexion, right? So, in this position, you can see the body movement of the feet. It's plantar position. The feet is downward stretch. So, it's plantar position. And see the fingers touching the heel, knee extension in the stretch leg. So, catch with opposite hand, face facing upward. So, we can say in this position, the maximum stretch you can see it's a side of the muscle, back twist, arm stretch, pull up position, extend. So, we can say flexion and extension. One hand in flexion position, the other hand is in flexion position. One is extension, one is flexion. So, the knee is in the flexible but helping from the other leg. So, we need to go all the points with the key point. Basically, I wanted to tell you in an easy language, twisting body, key judging point, 50 asanas, 25 in board, twisting body floor, with five pages, 25 in twisting body balance in 5-5 five, five pick. And COP page 1 to 1, 121 to 130. We have twisting body cut proper part. So you can go through with the twisting body. So we should be thoroughly with the twisting body. So next, if we are going to talk, we are going to talk about TBB 
B1 minus 0.7. This is the code. If my athlete is going for the competition, if he or she is choosing uh, Asan from Glassman, I should know and I should tell her that, you know, this Asan belongs to this point and we need to see all the key points. So, in this Asan, we can see the complete twist from the back. Please mute yourself. We can see complete twist from the back. May I request to mute yourself? So, athlete must be in complete twist. We are talking this line. Sabse pehle, jab bhi koi asana hai, complete twist, complete twist. Let's practice if you can. Jahan bhi bethe hai, ek or do asana karenge. If I'm sitting here, just put, uh, lift your right hand, left hand. Everyone back straight, please. We'll do one practice. Back straight. Can you hear me? Can you hear Breaking me? Breaking audio, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sometimes yeah. sound breaks in between. Okay. But image okay, okay. is not okay. ma'am. Audio, audio is not synchronized, please. Hmm. Okay. Okay. This is first time, but I don't know. Okay. Okay, now I wanted to practice with you one asana. Okay? Can you hear me first? Tell me. I'm feeling bad. I don't know why. Yes, yes. Like this. Sound, is clear now. Sound is clear now. Okay, let's do one practice. Wherever you are sitting, just back straight. Everyone back straight. Hold your left leg and just twist. Just twist. So we are talking about back twist. So we should know the twisting from the back. How it helps the back muscle and strengthen the back muscle. So now wait. Let me wait. Okay. Let me. Now Tell me, can you hear me? I want to show one video to you first. If yes, clear. Sound is yeah, clear. Thank you, thank you, Rajesh sir. Clear, I don't man. Know. But image thoda sa ruk raha. Okay, sir. Hope you will support me because this is my uh, my also first session, and now I want to share with you with you. Let me go to the first Zoom meeting. Come the Zoom meeting. Okay, here. Okay. Now share screen. Here you go. So let's see this video. This is basic. Just see. Then we we'll go again. Okay. These are simple. Twisting. We can do with the beginners. See, these are the exercise for the beginners students. We can do it with the beginners.
which we can get the big name of the president. Sound break, ma'am. Okay. Dolly, ma'am, sound is not clear. Sound नहीं आ रहा है, ma'am. Uh, please off your video. Dolly, ma'am, please off your video, then talk. I think your sound will be clear. No, no change. Now, time sound is breaking, ma'am. Request to ask technical person there is something system problem seems to be. Now, check it's better. Is it better? Not, not. No, ma'am. No matter. No, ma'am. No. Mm -hmm. Sound is not at all clear. Maybe sound ka kuch problem. Still hai, breaking. Other people, what we are talking is clear, but only the guru noise is ah, breaking. Yes. <laughs> 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 Very well said, sir. <laughs> Guru's sound is not clear. Okay. Can you hear me? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no. It's not clear, Dolly, ma'am. Sound it seems that you are talking from a very far away distance. Yes, actually. Sound is not clear, ma'am. If problem, we request to use microphone, then some... Yeah. Ma'am, headphone laga ke, but karen. Headphone laga ke. Bluetooth use kariye, ma'am. Bluetooth से sound ठीक आएगा. That's what I'm asking, sir. Okay, now see if it's clear. Yes, yes, very much clear. clear. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Dolly, ma'am, it's very much clear. Improved, improved. Thank you, ma'am. Kripa, ki ye word सुनने के लिए मैं तरस गई because I'm feeling so bad something. Session, the network problem is there. What, what happening? Wait. Thank now, you, ma'am. Thank think, you. Okay. Thank you. Can we talk about because of being host? I am not a host, so I'll talk to Rajesh sir. I'm going to talk about twisting. Abhi host ban jayenge, then I'll share my screen. Till that time, I will talk with you all. So I think we have a good talk on twisting body. It's divided into two parts, you know that. One is twisting body flows. One is twisting body balance. Clear? So please tell me video? how many asanas come? Yes. 20. Sir, I'm going to go so I'm going to talk about it. Yes, 25, 25. If you're listening, 25. Very, very much clear. So please tell me. Very good. Now please tell me. The lowest category belongs to which? Sir, make me host, please. A. Okay, so yes. Who said this? Very good. It means you are listening very carefully. 
the a category belongs to lower score thank you manjri ji aapne bahut acha se answer diya aur dhyan se sun rahi hai iska matlab super okay the highest category belongs to which category e e yes very much can we try for video yeah let me see if i'll share sir abhi bhi host bhi banane nahi let me call him okay i don't want to waste the time so we okay whose responsibility is this to see the judging point and why sir mujhe host bana dijiye please okay whose responsibility to see the key judging point it is judge responsibility judge is coach responsibility responsibility judge responsibility judge, judge coach and a team be judge ma'am be judge coach responsibility while teaching see, if we are organizing course, any tournament see while teaching it's very much important because you know kya hota hai hum log competitions pe jaate hain and then level up dekhte hain like we saw the you know, some athletes some coaches and some students are performing so beautifully to stretch leg extension flexion dorsiflexion jigs it is again disturbed ma'am again ma'am sound okay, has gone out so i should stop sharing also okay now can you hear me yes again yes, yes. very much okay. clear yes, thank you bhagwan ji kripa kijiye please aaj kripa kijiye okay so <laughs> it is our responsibility we all bear with you us thank you so it is our responsibility to teach our students see we all are a coach maximum right from india from world i think aap kai kai country se hamare sath jude hain so it is our responsibility to teach our student to teach our you know zaruri nahi hamare sath student bhi aate hain kai academies mein ladies bhi aati hain kai academies mein seniors senior citizen citizens bhi aate hain so this is our responsibility to you know see accordingly ke hamare student ko kya need hai right so if we are preparing a child for the competition this is our responsibility to go according to key point to so, aaj ki class mein sabse basic hamara tha twisting body right key judging point why key judging point for the coaches for the athlete you know agar hum olympic ki baat karte hain right agar hum olympic ki baat karte hain it means we need to work from the zero ground right zero ground means hame pura basic se advance agar jana hai properly thoroughly apne bacche ko acche se hum position ka extension proper position proper facing hame batana hai so let's go to the next slide and i think next slide i am going to talk about marudasan this asana belong to d category and d category means it's 0.9 marks so tbb twisting body balance d1 mark 0.9 आप इजीली देख सकते हैं ये आसन डी और ई कैटेगरी के जितने भी आसन हैं ओके सो सो टेगरी एंड ई कैटेगरी टू मैक्सिमम ट्विस्ट 
बहुत ही इजी चैप्टर रहेगी जितने भी हमारे अभी चैप्टर आएंगे ना फॉरवर्ड बेंडिंग फॉरवर्ड बेंडिंग में भी फिफ्टी आसन है बैकवर्ड बेंडिंग में भी फिफ्टी आसन है हैंड बैलेंस में भी फिफ्टी आसन है बिल्कुल मेन कैटेगरी बिलोंग्स टू टू सब कैटेगरी तो टोटल हमारी पांच कैटेगरी है पांच कैटेगरी का मतलब Every category belongs to fifty asanas. So total is two fifty asanas. आप mute कीजिए. If you are asking something, please mute yourself. Okay. So two fifty asanas. Five categories. Each category belongs to fifty asanas. And five category. It means fifty into five. We have two fifty asanas. So all the D and E category belongs to advanced asanas. So in this you can see athlete must be in twist, properly twist, right? Uska proper elbow dekh lijiye, knees dekh lijiye, hand grip. So proper position, back hand grip, hand grip from the back side, ankle. So is it? I can say hand flexion movement is there from the hands. And proper leg extension, jo hamari muscles hain. प्रॉपर एक्सटेंशन हो रही है राइट सो इफ माई चाइल्ड इज परफॉर्मिंग मारुदना फ्रॉम डी कैटेगरी आई शुड नो द की जजिंग पॉइंट टू गेट द बेटर स्कोर लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट लाइफ ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज मल्यासना ओके दिस Asan is belong to team D B twisting body balance E category marks zero point one okay so ma'am one point zero point sorry general... sorry it's not zero point one it's yeah, 1. one only one point zero sir one point yes sir. yeah so one point right so you can see. The leg is in proper extension, right? Maximum twist of the torso. जो हमारी spine है आपका इसमें maximum twist you can see. Firm grip on bent legs. Proper firm grip दिख रहा है हमारा. Proper ninety degree का ankle बनते हुए. High parallel down. Elbow resting on the ground. Face facing upward. Another hand grip on the extension. So. प्रॉपर जो हमारा बैक टॉर्सो ट्विस्ट है इट्स कंप्लीट ई कैटेगरी आसन व्हिच इज एडवांस आसन इफ माय चाइल्ड इज परफॉर्मिंग दिस आसन आई शुड नो दैट ही और शी हैज टू परफॉर्म प्रॉपरली एंड हर और हिज बैक ट्विस्ट शुड बी प्रॉपरली इनकंप्लीट ट्विस्ट सो वी हैव a uh, good uh, you know talk on the all asanas abhi i would like to say then okay If you are the light has gone on. Taking, if you are taking your children for competition, just me point. जब आप प्रैक्टिस करवा रहे हैं, when it's a practice time, you know we have practice time before the competition. So during that time, we need to prepare our children accordingly. okay with the position with the key point but sabse important baat beginners ke liye kabhi bhi beginners ko aap seedha c d ya e category se mat start karwaiye start with the gradually from a or b category so that they feel confident when they are going for the competition doesn't matter if they are not performing from category but they need to be very much confident for the next competition when they will see 
all the students, all the athletes are performing tough asanas. We can, you know, motivate them. Ki next time we, you know, we'll practice more and we'll practice next time ke liye much better. So for that, if my child is doing any twisting asanas, for I should know. Uska mujhe back ko kis tarah se hai, right? Back par kabhi bhi abhi kitni modern exercise aa hai. For the, with the chair, aap back ka maximum stretch kar sakte ho. Okay. Something is Kitty so interesting. But it's okay. I'm not going to give up at all. So please, if you have, let's talk now. Let's talk. You know, this is my also first opportunity and I am in school, my students played national, state, district. So, in the 22 years, I am in school and I am doing, doing my best. I have went to international schools also, international trips also. So, I have seen especially, you know, students who are eager to learn we need to help our athletes. If ground level age 9, so if we Olympic, we need to work now. Later, we need to work hard on the athlete. work hard. We should teach them how to relax also. The cooling down, the warming up part is very, very important. So we should make sure when our child is performing any, you know, asanas or practicing in school, we should teach them that after the session, how they are going to relax. And once in a week, you should do students' ke saath mein partner relaxation. For example, boy, boy, ka, like echo pressure partner relaxation, kar rahe, girls, girls ka relaxation. Kar rahe. So, proper, a systematic, we need to work. So now, agar kisi ke pas kuch bhi query hai, let's talk. Uh, you can ask. Hello, ma'am. Ma please. Yes, uh, please. Uh, I wanted to ask. Uh, just now, you talked about the partner relaxation. Uh, what is the yes. duration? I mean, duration and frequency. I couldn't See? get it. See, I'll let tell you. I used to do once in a week, every Saturday, when okay. I, you know, after the coaching, after, every Saturday, I used to do this with my children, girl, one one on one partner. So they are going to start lower to upper part, like, you know, chopping, chopping cup, chopping thigh, then back. We need to, once in a week, it has to be done. I'm telling you, just see the result. You okay, will okay, feel, the children are going to feel relaxed. It is very, very important for the child. Okay, oh, I'm clear. One more. Anyone else, please? Yes, one more. Yes, uh, yes ma'am. One more question. Um, yes, uh, while, uh, while practicing the twisting uh, uh, and for uh, D and E category, um yeah should we practice them for uh how to how how to go for extension also means uh similar rounds for twisting and means uh, 10 rounds for tw twisting if five and five from right and left then we have to go for extension also so how to give the extension yes. and uh, same rounds or uh, more me. than that okay see i use in my student See, if I'm doing twisting one side, I used to do maximum 8 to 10, okay? And I used to do with the both side. See, I know child is comfortable with one side always, you know? If I'm, if I'm comfortable,
कंफर्टेबल इन वन पोजिशन आई यूज टू डू यू नो ओपन क्लिक कर रही हूँ तो मैं अगर राइट लेग फ्रंट निकाल रही हूँ लेफ्ट बैक निकाल रही हूँ तो दिस इज माई यू नो रिलैक्सेशन एंड आई एम इजी आई एम फील रिलैक्स टू डू दैट बट जब भी हम ट्विस्टिंग करवाते हैं प्लीज मेक श्योर एटलीस्ट मिनिमम फाइव ईच साइड कभी भी एक साइड पे ट्विस्ट नहीं करवाएंगे बोथ साइड एंड मैक्सिमम यू कैन गो एट टू टेन एंड एक्सटेंड करवाने का भी एक तरीका है जब आपने जैसे ओपन लेग किया हाई को होल्ड कर लिया राइट या फिर चेयर पे आजकल इतने मॉडर्न तरीके आ गए हैं चेयर को होल्ड कर लिया यू कैन पुट योर अदर हैंड अप एंड जितना भी आप बैकवर्ड एक्सटेंड कर सकते हो फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्लेक्शन नहीं एक्सटेंशन एक्सटेंशन टूवर्ड अदर साइड सो इस वे से भी यू कैन यू नो इंक्रीज द टॉर्स ऑफ फ्लेक्सीबिलिटी एनी वन एल्स प्लीज ओके uh but while twisting we have to go back also so um for legs also uh, we need some practice so how Before. how to do how to go for that see back ke liye as a yoga teacher i know very well standing backward bhi hum kar sakte hain lying backward bhi kar sakte hain basic backward ka karne ke liye bhujangasan kar sakte hain standing mein agar main agar mera bachcha advanced hai If my child is belongs to advanced category, I can go with the chakrasan also. So this depends on the child. He belongs and he is comfortable in which position. But I agree with you with the side position. When we are doing twisting torso side to side, we should go backward even front also for the complete back relaxation. Thank you. Okay. Anyone else, Got please? It. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Manjri ji, for the lovely questions. Anyone else, please? Okay. So, abhi hum shanti part karenge. Sab. Yeah. Please, everyone, close your eyes. I, I, everyone, close your eyes, please. Check. Please close your eyes. Join your hands. We have to do session end with the prayer, Shanti part only. So please close your eyes. Rajesh sir, close eyes. करें हम यहाँ. Okay. Oh. सहन और तेजस्वी नृति मंगीधीशा ओ शांति थैंक यू माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स श्वास वंदे मात्र आई कंप्लीट वंदे मात्र मैम Yes, thank you for the lovely session, and I am extremely sorry for my network. I don't know. Every day I used to take the class; it's never happened. But today, it's like God is taking pariksha. Okay, see how you take the class, and I say I'm not going to let. I will take. Thank you. Not thank only you, audio, even video is also having some issues. Anyway, thank you. Thank you. You don't no, have to be sorry, ma'am. That's not your mistake at all. It was just a network issue. But you've taken wonderful session, ma'am. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank you, Divya ma'am. Thank you. And your pronunciation is very nice, ma'am. Thank you so much for the lovely words. Thank you. Dolly, ma'am, in spite of net problem, your session was very nice, very informative, very educative, and very. Thank you so much, sir. You tried to. Uh, Important Thank point. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. I will. I'm. On I'm your child training. Sir, I'm full motivated now. I definitely am going to take one more session with proper network. I'll see where is the problem with the network. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, Dolly. You have done a very good session. I have a little network issue, but anyways, you took a very well session and you have done a very good session. So, one second, thank you from our side. And we would like to invite our next resource person. Thank you, sir.